Hello viewers, this is Kulsum Ahmed. Today I'm here with the topic inflation. This is the lecture number three of macroeconomics. So let's start with the topic. Now what, what is, is inflation? inflation? Inflation is general rise in prices. In economics, inflation is persistent rise in the price level over a period of time resulting in a sustainable drop in the purchasing power of money. So inflation is a decrease in the buying power of consumers. As it is said by Milton Friedman, an American economist, he said, too much money chasing too few good causes prices to go up. Now what is inflation? Inflation is a general rise in the price level in an economy over a period of time, resulting in a drop in the purchasing power of money. It means that if in 1970, if you had 0.25 dollar in your pocket you are able to buy this product and but in the next after 10 years if you have 0.45 dollars in your pocket you are going to buy the same quantity of the products and so on you will reach to 2019 when you have 1.59 dollars in your pocket but you are going to buy the same level of product it means this money is performing the same work that this money is performing so this is due to inflation. How to describe inflation? We have creeping inflation, we have galloping inflation and we have deflation. So let's see what are these. Creeping inflation is a condition where the inflation in a country increases slowly but continuously over a period of time and the effect of inflation is noticed after a long period of time. For example, if the inflation is at the rate of 3%, it will take 33 years for the prices to double. So creeping inflation means uh, slow inflation, like gradual inflation that is happening. So it is in a slow pace. Then we have galloping inflation. It is a type of inflation that occurs when the prices of goods and services increases at two digit or three digit rate per annum. Galloping inflation is also known as jumping inflation. So in the words of Bommel and Blender, galloping inflation refers to an inflation that proceeds at an exceptionally high rate. So the word galloping is telling you big jumps so when money prices increases big in big jumps it will be galloping inflation then we have deflation in economics deflation is a decrease in the general price level of goods and services deflation occurs when the inflation rate falls below zero percentage so inflation reduces the value of currency over time but sudden sudden deflation increases it so if the value of uh, uh, money, uh, it means that if the prices will go down, definitely the prices will go down so much. So what will happen? You are able to buy more of the products because the rates have gone down. But it will have negative impact on the supplier side because the decrease in prices will discourage the supplier to produce more things. So it is also not good for the health of it. We have demand pull inflation, cost push inflation and imported inflation. Now what is demand pull inflation? Demand pull inflation is asserted to arise when aggregate demand in an economy outspaces aggregate supply, means there is demand supply gap. Demand pull inflation is the upward pressure on prices resulting price hikes, so it is due to outward shift in aggregate demand. Then we have cost push inflation. Cost push inflation is a type of inflation caused by substantial increase in the input prices, ultimately causing the prices to go up. As we know, quantity is the function of labor, capital, technology and its resources. So cost of production increases due to a decreased aggregate supply. Then we have imported inflation. Imported inflation is a general and sustainable prices increase due to an increase in the cost of imported products resulting domestic prices to go up. So how do inflation work? If we have 15% annual inflation rate, a product of $2 may become $2.3 the next year. And in the same way, if we have 15% inflation rate, a product that is of $10,000 may become $11,500 the next year. Now we have demand pull inflation. So how demand pull inflation happens? Now see, you have aggregate demand and aggregate supply curves. And if because of any reason, the aggregate demand curve will go upward, means it will move, uh, it will shift outward, it will cause the prices to go up. So this is 
causing demand pull inflation. So demand pull inflation is happening because the aggregate demand curve has shifted outward. Uh, and we were unable to shift the supply curves. This is why we faced demand pull inflation. Then we have cost push inflation. Now what is cost push inflation? Cost push inflation happens when we have aggregate demand curve but our aggregate supply curve is moving backward. So why is it moving backward? Because you know quantity is the function of labor, capital, technology and natural resources. It means to have outputs you need to have inputs. So if input prices will go up you are able to produce less of the products because you will have to reduce your supplies because the prices have increased and it has enable you to have less of your inputs resulting the aggregate supplies to fall down so this negative shift of supply curve is causing cost push inflation so this was all about my today's lecture if you liked my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you